Okay, so I'm back for part two. And um, we stopped right here. And what I want to do is I want to work on the type at the bottom. So let me just zoom into that area. Whoa. I always do that. It gets too big. Okay. Um, I'm going to select all the type. And I think, actually, I'll select just this line. I think this one needs to be bigger because it's about this champion. Ooh, no, not that big. Um, it's about this championship. Everything else looks fine, um, but I want to make this a little jazzier. So this over here, um, if we want to, we could put a drop shadow. And let's just try that. Now that's a looks a little bit too much, but I can change the distance, the spread, and the size. Um, I can also change the opacity. That looks okay. I'm gonna say okay. Um, but I want to make this more interesting anyway, because I think it's fine. But I think it could be f more fun, a little more jazzed up, or if that is such a word. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to put it below the type and this is going to be a red box or red rectangle actually rectangle and to do that we're going to go up here and you have to be on this layer and I'm going to click and drag and make a rectangle and let go and I'm going to use this color palette, but this time I'm going to do something. I'm going to use the eyedropper. Do you see when I leave this palette and come over here, I get an eyedropper? I'm going to pick up an orange and say OK. And we're going to learn something new. We're going to use this gradation tool. And I'm going to hold down the shift key to make a straight line. And I'm going to start it here and drag. Whoa. That was pretty cool, but it's not very readable. So let's go back to our type tool, select the type, and let's make it white. Let's see if that looks good. And let's get rid of the, well, do Command D to get rid of those marching ants. And that looks kind of interesting. Look, what does it look like all together? Let's see, fit on screen. That could be possible. It's a little, the type's a little bit. Uh, tight to the bottom there, so we need to fix that. But I like the gradation, kind of picks up on this gradation. Um, maybe we should do the same for the top. So let's make a new layer, and this one we'll call green rectangle. And I spelled it wrong. Oop. Oh boy. All right, let's start that again. New layer, green rectangle. Okay, now that's above the logo, so I want the logo on top. Whoops, let's do it this way. Okay, so the order matters, obviously. I'm on the green rectangle, and I'm going to make a green rectangle up here. And I'm going to double click this, and notice again, once I leave this palette, I can use my eyedropper and pick a green. Whoa, that's pretty, pretty bright. It's a little darker darker. Let's start with that and see what happens. And I'm going to use the gradation tool again, but this time I'm going to go up. So I'm going to shift and go up. Whoa. Not wild about the green though. I think it needs to have more yellow in it. So I'm going to change the, the uh, green. Oops, too dark. Too dark. Ooh, I think we'll try that. So let's try this again. I'm going to hold the shift key and we'll change it to let, yeah, that works for me. That works great with the logo, too. All right, so we need to work on the bottom part here. Um, let's click on the championship. Let's get rid of the marching ants with Command-D first. And I'm going to just move that up a smidgen. Oh, how come it's, oh, the green rectangle is in front of it. I'm going to put this on top. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, but that takes away from my logo coming in. Bummer. 
All right, I'll do that. Um, so I think I'm going to make my type a little smaller down here. So I'm going to go to the type area. I'll leave this big. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to say 40 points. And then I'm going to bring this down in size to 24. And <clears throat> if I bring up my type palette, I do Command T. This time Command T, because I'm using a type tool, brings up my type character. I'm going to make the letting, the space from baseline to baseline, smaller so it tightens it up. I'm also going to make this optical so that the letter spacing is good. I should do that for this too. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm liking it. And the question is, did I spell everything right? So let's let's check. That logo came, that image came, so that should be spelled correctly. But I did this, and I off whoa, I often make mistakes, so I was always double check my work. Zendikar or Zendikar Rising Championship, two hundred fifty thousand dollars in prizes. Period. One weekend to win it all. Period. Watch the broad up oh, spelled broadcast wrong. Okay, the O comes before the A, right? Yes, that's better. Broadcast live December 4th through 6th, beginning at 9 a.m., period, PST at twitch.tv dot, no, backslash magic, period. I think I got it right. So I'm going to save this. And... Once it's saved, I'm going to call it um, Zendikar Poster. I'll just call it that. And I'll put it in my magic folder and I'll leave it as a Photoshop file. And that's it. So I'm going to um, close this video and I will upload it the minute YouTube lets me. Um, and it'll be lesson five, part two.